Hi everyone, Dr. Nimichek here. Just a quick little video on a uh, curious thing is that bacterial overgrowth, uh, there's a variety of studies showing uh, it seems to predispose people to uh, you know, more advanced gum disease and um, tooth decay. And one of the things we will hear about <clears throat> on occasion in adults is their teeth are just really brittle. And, you know, they take real good care of their teeth, they go to the dentist, they do all the things you're supposed to do, and their teeth just break. And uh, once you balance their gut bacteria, that'll just stop. They, I, I have a very uh, close friend of mine who their whole life, she had these brittle teeth. It was just a constant battle to try to keep the teeth in her mouth. And then, oh gosh, 10, 15 years ago, she was treated with rifaximin, and ever since then, it's all stopped. Now it's just a matter of trying to keep her old bridge work from breaking, the artificial stuff. Uh, another thing we'll see is um, once you start treating with rifaximin, the immune system seems, and you, you balance the gut, the immune system seems to turn on, and people will suddenly, oh my gosh, I had to have a root canal, uh, you know, say a three, six weeks after you start Rifaximin. Sometimes if you hang in there, and even though that tooth's kind of bothering you and you wait, it'll go away. And uh, that actually happened to me. And so you you have this predisposition to infections and, you know, brittle teeth. And, it, you know, the infections can possibly get cleaned up once the immune system turns on, you have better immune function and the teeth quit uh, breaking. I don't have any idea why the teeth break, like a, you know, absorption of nutrients or something like that, we just don't know. But it's a fairly common thing. So uh, you might find that interesting. You all take care now, bye.